welcome back. Okay, so in today's video, I decided I wanted to play around with my new Huda Beauty Icy Nude Palette. Now, when Huda said that this was going to be her last large palette, I knew right then I was going to get it, but I also knew I wanted to get it because I love the beautiful, nice, clean design of the packaging. I, I truly am moved by packaging, and I love this gorgeous clean design that she did for this palette. And also, the color story for this palette, I actually really, really love. Although looking at this for, you know, a darker skin woman of color, <laughs> you might look at this and be like, eh, it's a little pale, a little pasty, which it is, hence the name Icy Nude. But there are some gorgeous shimmers in here. The light shades, I know I definitely can do a really nice, light, beautiful matte shade or shimmery shade. I mean, that's a no brainer for me with this palette. What I wanted to do, of course, was test out how deep this palette goes. So if someone is curious, you're my skin tone or darker or around, you know, my shade and you were curious about, well, how deep will the palette go? I wanted to kind of play around with that. So that's what I did today in creating this look. As you can see, this look might, you know, look a little deeper, a little darker than what you might have thought this palette would do. But the darker shades actually do, you know, show up and give a little bit of pigment. So anywho, don't want to, you know, talk about it too much. I want to just jump right in, get into me using this palette. Now, along with this palette, I also tried out um, a couple more of her new products I went and I purchased the easy blur foundation during the Sephora sale so I did go ahead and grab one of these and I have it on right now and then I also tried out the easy blur primer to go along with the foundation so if you would like to see or hear my thoughts on what I think about this primer what I think about this foundation and as well as how this eyeshadow performed if it was easy to do or if it was difficult to do then stay tuned because that is coming up next okay you guys so before starting this actual video and tutorial eye look I wanted to just show you um, some swatches from this palette so you know you can get a close-up look at the shades as well as the swatches. So these are all the shimmers as well as the pressed glitter. I do not like that pressed glitter. That I will say I don't like from the palette. That pressed glitter is just gritty and it feels like glitter and I don't see myself ever using it. It's not even pretty to me. Um, this shade here, really, really gorgeous. But these are all the shimmers. And as you see, that first shade that looks white in the palette is actually this ugh, like holographic kind of purpley tone shimmer is really pretty. But these are the shimmers. So let me go ahead and swatch the mattes. Okay, you guys, so these are all the mattes from the palette. Oh, just looking at these swatches makes me happy. I think if you like cool tones, then you might like this palette. I never used to be a cool tone lover, but I definitely am now. I actually prefer cool tones over warm tones right now. And this palette, oh, oh, it's so pretty. So yeah, these are all the swatches of all the matte shades that are in here. And I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into this look with this gorgeous palette. But before I get started, I'm going to be using some of my Morphe eyeshadow primer on my lids. And I'm just, you know, blending that all over my lids. So the first shade we're going to start with is Lavish. And this is just a really soft, what kind of looks like a very, very pale, dusty rose shade. But I want to use that as a nice kind of base and transition for the rest of these shades. Now this shadow is very, very smooth. I mean, I already know I really, really like Huda Beauty shadows, but I think I have forgotten just how smooth and easily blendable they are. But as you can see, it's laying down very easily, very nicely. 
nothing too dark just a simple light transition now the next shade I'm going into is unapologetic now this shade is a little bit darker it still has like those dusty rose cool tone properties to it kind of looks like a really really light I don't know kind of muted yeah I would say just a muted dusty mauvey shade <laughs> if that makes sense but as you can see that is building up very nicely very easily very very simple now I'm going into this darker shade which is she rich this is actually the darkest shade in the palette a very deep dark it looks kind of like a plummy black because it's not straight black it has like that cool tone plumminess to it and I'm just using that to kind of shape out a halo eye as you can see just making sure I have that nice and evenly blended now from a center of my lid I'm going in with some of the elf glitter primer just want to make sure that these shimmers stick nicely and I'm going into the shade VVS I guess that's what it is I don't know what that stands for but VVS and I'm using my finger to tap that on my lid this shade this shimmer is very chunky you guys it has it's very textured so I would say the best way to use it is with your finger because with a brush I feel like it would be very inconsistent and you would have to press down really hard to make it nice and smooth but using my finger as you can see very easy pops very nicely now I'm just blending those edges with that same brush that I used for unapologetic and just tapping that on the edges of where I place that shimmer down just so it's not so harsh and it kind of blends in with those matte shades a little bit better next I decided I wanted to add some black eyeliner so I just added some black liquid eyeliner popped on some lashes <laughs> this took a little longer than I wanted of course but this is the look so far with the liner and lashes now let's move on to the face and I'm starting out with the new Huda Beauty easy blur primer now this primer is one of those like pore filling primers it feels like a silicone base but it says it's silicone free smoothing primer so I don't know what it's made out of but it definitely feels like your typical smoothing and blurring primer that kind of fills in your pores and blurs out your skin so yeah it feels very very familiar to one of those types of primers and I like those I do because I definitely feel like they fill in those pores that and you know make them a little less visible when you place your foundation on and I feel like it does kind of blur those imperfections a bit so this is kind of nice to use I like how it felt before I started my face I had already moisturized so it felt really nice on top of that moisturizer now let's move into this easy blur foundation now I have the shade Coco you know you never know if it's going to be a good shade or not but thankfully I picked a shade that was perfect for me and I'm really really glad that I did that the first time and I didn't have to return it so as you can see I'm just using a slightly damp brush it's kind of like a soft fluffy brush to apply this foundation I'm trying to use brushes more than sponges for a while just to kind of you know see which ones I like better I like to switch it up sometimes with my application because you know just helps to keep your makeup application from getting boring <laughs> so just going in with a little bit more for the opposite side tapping that in blending it and just kind of making sure I have a nice even base with this foundation and I must say I do like the way it feels I feel like it has a nice natural um, it's not super glowy but as you can see it does have a natural but slightly glowy finish to it it's not matte to me you know it just feels feels nice it's not heavy or anything 
So I'm going in with this Huda Beauty Concealer. This is one that I already had in my makeup collection. This is the Overachiever con uh, Concealer and I have the shade Peanut Butter. And while this is a very nice shade, super amount of coverage, okay? This concealer has a lot of coverage, which is nice. And I like the way it feels. It's not too thick, too, too heavy. It's like you can kind of control the amount that you put on because you really only need a little bit. I actually use too much, quite honestly. So that's why I just kind of spread it out all over my face. But even this shade Peanut Butter, in my opinion, for me, it's a little bit light. I don't typically go this light with my concealer. I know that um, this is kind of a, a normal amount of brightening for a lot of people, but it's a little bit too light for me. Now I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Cinnamon Bun. <laughs> I love that name, Cinnamon Bun. And I love this powder as well, <laughs> okay? This is a very, very nice powder, okay? It adds some coverage on your face as well. And this shade I feel like is perfect for me with the amount of brightening that I like in those highlighted areas. So I'm just kind of focusing those that powder in those areas because I am going to go in with a different setting powder. Now I don't have a Huda Beauty, you know, setting powder, pressed setting powder. So I'm going in with my NARS um, soft matte setting powder in the shade Seafront. And I'm just lightly dusting that all over my face just to bring that warmth in and make sure that that foundation is set nicely. And to bronze, I am going in with another Huda Beauty product. This is from her Glowish line. And I'm just using this bronzer in the shade Rich. It's one of her soft radiant bronzers. Love this bronzer, it's very, very nice. It's not too, too pigmented, you know. It's kind of like the blush, as you'll see, you can just kind of swirl your brush in there, pick up a little bit of product and apply it. And you don't have to worry about a whole bunch of fallout and dust and high pigmentation. It's not too crazy like that. So I really like it for that reason. And it looks nice. Now the blush, same thing. Not a whole lot of pick up and you know dust in the pan actually there's no kick up <laughs> as you can see here you just swirl your brush in there and this one is in the shade berry juicy just in case you're I don't even know if she has her glowish line anymore I've had these for a little while but yeah as you can see it applies nicely beautiful shade not crazy pigmented easily buildable and very very nice formula now I'm going in with this gorgeous Huda highlighter in the shade Thea. Um, I guess this is called Nymph Kiss. <laughs> the type of highlighter is Nymph Kiss. I don't know you guys, but as you can see, it's this bold pinky gold and it's really, really pretty. Now I decided to add just a simple pencil black liner on my lower lash line just to kind of bring this look together and I'm taking those two shades that I put in my crease before and smoking out that lower lash line going in with the dark shade first and then I'm just kind of softening it up with that shade unapologetic unapologetic <laughs> now for my inner corner I wanted to go in with a bright shade but I wanted it to be matte you know do something a little different today so I'm going in with the white shade, which is Avalanche, taking a large fluffy brush, or I would say a medium sized fluffy brush, and just tapping that in my inner corner and finishing it off with some of my Sephora mascara just to finish up this look. Now for the lips, I'm going in with my ColourPop lip liner in the shade On Ice, which is very apropos for this palette for it to be called on ice, but it's really just a nice kind of dusty plum shade to uh, line my lips. I really like this shade, it's very pretty. And I'm going in with one of my Sephora lipsticks and this is the number 23. I don't know if it has a name, but the shade is 23. So another soft mauve shade to kind of tie in this whole look. And I'm going to set my face with my one size setting spray. 
this setting spray is basically like hair hairspray for your face it's like you really can't feel it but it sets it down all day <laughs> so this is the look you guys let me know what you think I really really like it so this is it you guys, the final look from me trying out this Icy Nude palette along with the primer and the foundation today. You were able to go through it with me, kind of hear my thoughts as I was applying it. And you know, the overall consensus for me with this palette is I think it is a beautiful palette. I don't feel like I will get a ton of looks out of it. I mean, if I use this palette you know along with other palettes oh definitely because the shimmers are gorgeous i mean they're beautiful i really really like them the one that i used in the center of my lid absolutely gorgeous and i do like the matte white that i put in my inner corner it's um, not always easy to find a good matte white so i do love that and i also like the fact that there are some deeper shades in here to use but as far as this palette goes i think my favorite part is the different shimmers because i can incorporate using this palette with other palettes if i want a really beautiful shimmery um lid lid topper in a corner pop all of those things so i think it's great for that and i'm glad to have this palette now will this be her last large palette we don't know yet she might change her mind <laughs> so anywho i'm really glad i picked it up and i hope you enjoyed this video spending time with me creating this look and testing out these products let me know in the comments what you think did you pick up these products? How do you feel about them? You know, let's kind of give our different opinions about these items if you've tried them or if you're going to purchase them. So, yeah, that's it for today, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles! Bye.